We're joined today by Allison Kalinchuk. She is with Harvest Manitoba. Now the weather started to warm up. Gardening season is kind of around the corner. Typically people wait until the May long weekend to start planting anything. But as people have this on their mind, Harvest Manitoba has an amazing program that people can be a part of and actually help out. Tell us a little bit about Grow a Row. So at Grow a Row, it's a program where the community can share their extra produce with each other. Um, basically anyone who grows their own food, it could be anything from an at-home garden, maybe you have an apartment where you grow a few a few bins on your balcony, to maybe you, you're go, you go to a school and your class, if you're a teacher, you maybe want to organize your class to have a small community garden at school. Um, even if you go to a community club or a church, you can set aside a plot of land and grow food. And if you happen to have an extra row of food that you might not be able to use, then you can go along and donate it to Harvest. And it all goes back to food bank clients. So per year, I believe we receive about 100,000 pounds of fresh fruit and vegetables from Grower. So it definitely adds into our clients' hampers at the monthly food banks. How important is it to get this extra food and especially it being fresh produce? It's very important. We know that people have to have a balanced nutrition, especially kids who are going to school. So it really adds a lot to them to have the fresh produce. Mm -hmm. Is there any produce specifically that is a little more beneficial or will you take anything that people are willing to grow? We'll definitely take anything that people are willing to grow. Anything from... Um, strawberries, we have a grower row member who donates lots of raspberries to us. Um, we tend to recommend that people, if they have a choice, they grow shelf-stable vegetables. That means any kind of root crop like potatoes, carrots, and onions. We always have a big need for those. But really anything that you're growing from corn to squash, beets, cucumbers, anything. How did this program start and like this idea, where did this come from? Because, I mean, we always maybe think like, hey, I have too much. I want to give it away. But where did this concept of Grow Real come from? It's It's been around since almost the beginning of harvest in the 80s. I believe there was a family that grew too much one year and thought, oh, what can they do with it? And they donated to harvest when harvest was still in its roots at the beginning. And then from there, it's kind of spiraled. And every year we have more and more people signing up to grow a row. And I know quite often you have a lot of businesses that get involved in, and that ends up producing a lot of, of produce for Harvest Manitoba. Yeah, that's right. So anything from a small individual to a young kid in a school to a business can participate. And it doesn't matter how much is given, anything counts. Anything counts, yeah. <laughs> Now, if there are people out there, too, who are maybe like, you know what, I, I'm not a gardener. I don't have that green thumb, but I want to help out. I want to somehow give it Harvest Manitoba. What are some other ways that maybe they can get involved? There is a lot of volunteering opportunities. People can donate their time in our warehouse by volunteering. That's one of the most common ways. But even if you have other skills, if you can drive a truck, you can do deliveries. If you're good at data entry or administrative work, then there's opportunities to volunteer at our call center or in the front desk. So really just reach out and we'll see where we can place you. And of course, you're always in need of food donations. Always in need of food donations, yeah. Is there anything specifically at this time um, that Harvest Manitoba is in need of? Always our top items, our top 10 items are items that are shelf stable. So pasta, rice, canned goods, Another one that's little known is that we do receive donations for hygiene supplies. So if you have any extra, uh, maybe like a toothbrush or shampoo. And another big way to donate too is by donating money if you do a fundraiser. With that, Harvest can, can usually buy more food with the money than if someone was to donate food. So an example of food that we sometimes buy is we have a first steps program for mothers or any kind of parent who have a young child. And if they sign up with their food banks, they can receive baby items like diapers or formula or baby food. So if someone were to donate money, then that's one outlet that it can go to. That's awesome. Are there any other programs that are being offered? Because when we think of Harvest Manitoba, we're thinking of, you know, it's a place where people can go to get food. But there are there's so much more to Harvest Manitoba than just that. There is. Um, 
we like to see what we um, we say that we reduce the root causes of hunger. So what I do when I coordinate the urban agriculture program, I help people find ways to garden on their own. So, for example, if someone someone wants to sign up for Grow a Row, they would receive resources like tips from us. We also sometimes get donations of plants and seeds from greenhouses at end of season. So every Grow a Row participant is able to get plants and seeds from us. Other programs that we have at Harvest, we have a training program where sometimes other community groups recommend people to come to us for a no cost training program to get skills to work in a warehouse. So first aid training, forklift training and whatnot. Um, yeah, so we do quite a lot at Harvest. We also have a tax program at our call center where if someone is of low income, they could have their income tax done for free. And this past year we did almost 400 returns for people that put over a million dollars back into the pockets of Manitobans who needed it. So we do uh -huh. quite a lot to reduce the root causes of hunger here. Have you seen an increase in the amount of people that have had to use the services and resources that Harvest Manitoba offers? We have. It's gone up about 150 percent per year. So there is quite a big increase. For people, again, that want to learn about Grow a Row and everything else that we've chatted about, how can they go about learning about that information? I would say either call our front desk or you can go on our website under Harvest Manitoba slash Grow a Row. It's also on the website under the page Ways to Give. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. We do appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah.